keeping these eggs at around 80, 81 degrees. Humidity stays at 60. I haven't even opened this thing. Look at how insanely cool this little guy is. So cute. Look at your little face. All white with just a little tiny bit of pattern on their faces. Check out these guys. What a beautiful snake. So this is my albino frost. Look at what a stunner that snake is. What's up, guys? Howdy do! Howdy freaking do. It's your boy, Tyler freaking Nolan. All right, so we got some things to do today. We got some cages to clean, some snakes to freaking situate, some things to show you guys. I'm excited. So, in a bunch of previous videos, I have mentioned to you guys that I have a snake, one of my favorite snakes of all times, my favorite Australian species. They're just insanely beautiful. One of my favorite snakes in the world, okay? I've had it for like six months. He's been down here and then I moved him to a new cage because he's getting a little bigger. <laughs> it's time for me to unleash him today. But first, we got some things to clean. We got some things to take care of real fast. I'm getting some new animals, all right? And now that I'm getting back into breeding things, um, I wanna get back into that aspect of the hobby and the trade, okay? Like back in the day, I used to import and export and breed things and I was trading and buying and doing all this stuff. I had hundreds and hundreds of snakes. Back when I lived in Fort Lauderdale with my old roommate, Alan, I had a huge shed in the backyard. I had tons of freaking snakes. Dude, at one point I had like 10 king cobras at a time, okay? So I used to be super, super into this stuff back in the day. Then I got way more into tattooing. Tattooing career took off. I was way too busy tattooing. Stopped doing snake stuff. Stopped breeding completely. Haven't done that in years, okay? I'm going to get back into doing some more things at home like taking care of animals and breeding again because I'm going to have some more time and uh, I know a lot of you are like oh you're about to have kids you're not going to have any free time I'm going to have more at home time is what I mean yes I know my kid is about to probably take up a majority of it but she can help with everything breeding all the little anoles and stuff around my house and curly tails and all that stuff it was so fun when I was a kid and hatching animals out like dude watching chickens hatch and watching turtles hatch when you're a little tiny kid is freaking awesome. So I wanna share that with my daughter. So that's why we're doing this. So I have a few animals that are coming in soon. I have a couple different pairs of a certain particular kind of snake that I'm very fond of that you guys know I'm really into. Um, so stay tuned for that. I'm really, really excited to show you guys those. Um, those baby Kribos that you guys just saw the other day, those things are killing it, doing great. I'm still trying to get them to eat. They're a little bit on the finicky side. But yeah, let's just get into today's video. Enough mumbo jumbo. All right, so one more thing to show you guys, and then I promise I will show you some snakes. Actually, this is kind of a snake. Yeah, it is. So I'm going to show you it anyways. And not only that, but I'm going to give you guys this. I'm going to send this to someone on here. Comment down below what you think about what is in this box. Without further ado, this is another cute little thing from Coppertist. I already showed you guys in the previous videos that rattlesnake pendant that I have that's super, super sick. You can wear it as a keychain or put it around a necklace. They make those little rattlesnake pendants in gold now and the company is actually sending me one. I'm super, super stoked about it. But let's check this out real quick. So they just sent me this the other day. Check how cool this thing is look at how insanely cool this little guy is so it looks like it could be a squam or some other kind of african bush viper very cool almost has like an insularis white lippy face on it 
Look how badass this thing is. And this is also a bottle opener. So that right there, you just boop, crack the top off your bottles with it. Super, super cool. And the company makes a lot of really cool products like this. So I'm gonna put a discount link down below for you guys. Go check them out, put the discount link in there, go get some sweet stuff from this company. They are badass. And like I said before, comment down below. Some nice whatever comments about whatever, anything. It can be anything. It can be something funny. Comment down below. I'm gonna pick a funny comment and I'm gonna send you this for free. And like I said in previous videos, this is free. Do not text telemarketer people or tell whatever people. Don't send anybody shipping money. Don't do anything for that. Listen, you will hear from me with a check mark by my name. That is it. It is completely free. So hit me up. Got to check all the hoggies. Everything ate yesterday. Yep. You ate. Awesome. Great. What else we got here? Shaniqua. How are you doing, sweetheart? Oh, yes. You're doing nice. Oh, thank you. All right. What else we got over here? Ooh, you ate also. I love it when everybody eats. Ooh, this is my Ultra Mill. So this is my Albino Frosted. Dude, look at what a stunner that snake is. Holy crap. What else we got here? White girl, you ate also. Hi, sweetheart. Oh, you're so cute. Look at this. Oh, God, I love these Yetis. So cute, hello, look at your little face, all white, with just a little tiny bit of pattern on their faces. What a beautiful animal, right? Oh God, I love these guys. We got the TikTok star, Sunflower. Hey baby, how are you? Are you gonna try to bite me? Oh yeah, you gonna try to bite? Yeah, that's what you do, you're just a little biter, huh? Hey, relax yourself. Ready? All right, so before I show you, the secret snake. We gotta feed these guys. These zebra spitters. You guys know I love these snakes. Not really. They were a gift from Ray. But check out these guys. Look at this. What a beautiful snake. Very slender. Very cool stripes. That light coloration. Only they're a lot darker than this. They have kind of like black heads. These guys are really pretty. Very light, light brown, big fat head, wide venom glands. Really, really pretty animals. See that? Very cool. All right, so what we're gonna do is obviously they're in a cage together, so I like to feed them separately. So what we're gonna do here is we are just going to safely get her in this Tupperware. Boom, just like that. Grab a rat, put it in there for her. Boom, just like that. So, just gonna let her do her thing inside of there and eat in peace. Let's check out this other one. You like that? That was fast. Smooth criminal. So this one, a little bit thicker, pretty sure this is the male, has a little bit more of that caramel color to it and even a peachy color on the bottom of its throat. Jet black throats when they hood up. But these guys are pretty well behaved. They don't really hood that much. Look at those brown eyes, very, very cool. They're very seldom to spit as well. Pretty well behaved spitting cobras. Very cool animals. Very, very cool. Let's put them back in here. Give her a rat. And then it's time for the main act guys i am so excited to show you this new snake that i've had for a while i just have not shown you guys yet it's one of my favorites literally i'm so in love with this snake i'm about to show you guys everybody that comes over to my house it's like the first thing that i show them i'm super proud of it so without further ado let's go check them out done all right real fast I know I told you I was gonna show you the new snake, but real quick, guys. Let's just look at these eggs real fast. So this tiny little incubator that I got on Amazon, super cheap, it's doing the job, man. Keeping these eggs at around 80, 81 degrees. Humidity stays at 60. I haven't even opened this thing up. I haven't had to adjust it or anything. I'm just leaving it be. I have that Wi-Fi thermometer in there too, so I can make sure it is exactly the right temperature that I need it. The eggs are doing fantastic they look perfect 
Ready, ready? Yes, sir. Four. All right! Moment of truth, guys. Dude, I'm so freaking pumped to show you this god dang snake, man. All right, let's get him. Where is he? Oh, here he is, right here. Let's, uh, let's grab him real quick. And then let's, I'm gonna show you guys outside because his colors are freaking amazing. All right, guys. I know it's kind of crappy and overcasty, but it's still beautiful outside. And I really want you guys to really appreciate the colors of this beautiful, beautiful Australian animal that I have. So without further ado, guys, meet Steve. Oh, dude, <laughs> look at how freaking awesome he is so this is steve guys my australian black headed python that i've probably had for like six months now i got him from my friend josh over at cbk he hit me up when he got this animal and he was like dude i got such a stunner for you i've been looking for blackhead pythons for forever but i was really looking for an east locality so the east locality are more orange and yellow like this just such a absolutely beautiful freaking animal how cool is this dude jet black head so they can thermo regulate themselves they stick their heads in and out of tunnels and holes and stuff in the wild if they get too hot they pull it back in they want some heat they put their head out they absorb that heat thermo rate they thermo regulate their entire body with that black head and then that super impressive tiger stripe that goes entire that goes down their entire body with that orange outline that yellow filler oh my god how cool is this it's crazy that in australia they don't even think that these are that cool they just go out and they're all over the place running around the road and shit people find them in the wild all the time they're pretty average in australia they're not that cool but here in america these animals came here a long, long time ago before everything was regulated. They were smuggled into the country and thankfully people captive breed them now and we can still get these amazing, amazing animals. One of my absolute favorite Australian snakes I finally own. I've had him for like six months now. He's great. And as you can see, his temperament is awesome too. So another one of my friends, Derek, I will put his link down below he breeds a line that is called a tangerine line okay so now derek is up in south carolina right now and he's trying to find me out of his collection apparently he's got a female for me so he's up there looking for me right now but go check out derek and check out these tangerine line blackheaded pythons that he has because if you think this snake is impressive wait until you see the tangerines I'm not really sure if this is a tangerine or not. I really don't think so, but the colors are still nonetheless impressive. Still a very, very beautiful animal. And hopefully the east locality one, he's going to keep his colors as he gets to be an adult. A lot of the western localities, there's even exanthic blackhead pythons that are almost white and black really really cool looking also it's just a completely different look of an animal me personally i like color i love these oranges and the yellows you just can't beat it and that beautiful black head like holy crap you can't beat that dude what a beautiful animal it's impressive like a snake that looks like this it's unreal guys big things coming Big things, my brother. Big things. Cool snakes, guys. I'm really excited to get more into non-venomous stuff. The more I got, the, when I got into the hog nose, it was cool at first. But then, you know, I just realized, like, I really, that's the thing about handling stuff. Like, you guys always, I free handle, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's, it's, the thing is, for me, I love handling these animals. I love seeing how they interact like holding them i like appreciating them very close so being able to have a bunch of non-venomous stuff that i could just hold and take outside like this is yeah. next level for me and that honestly is way cooler than owning venomous that can potentially kill you i mean venomous animals are still awesome still very cool you can't hang out with the venomous in your kids though right mm -hmm. and i and i do i just i just look at this look how beautiful this animals there's just so many non-venomous snakes out there that are so freaking rad that you guys probably don't even know about yeah i've never heard of so i got a few things on my list and i got a few things coming i could dude i got a couple snakes coming today i got a couple snakes coming on thursday i got a couple snakes that are waiting to eat that it might get in a couple weeks i got those eastern indigos coming dude we got some big stuff coming some 
some seriously cool <sighs> happy friends. I'm excited, dude. So, thank you guys so much. All because of you. None of this would be possible without you guys. You guys are rad. Steve, I hope you guys like Steve. Yeah, Steve. I love Steve. He's literally one of my favorite animals, actually. He's been he's been the freaking OG for the last six months that I've had him. He's just so freaking cool. Yeah. You guys have been waiting a while to meet Steve, huh? Dude, I know. I've had I, him for I a forgot, while. I forgot that he's he twice the size. Yeah, he's, giant. he's gotten so much bigger since I've got yeah. him. He was a tiny little worm when I got him. Oh, he's a little tiny baby. Speak, Come on. All right, I gotta go to work. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, like I said, comment down below. I'm gonna send you that bottle opener swami thingy from Copper Test. Super cool. Until next time, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Bye. Bye. Well, I left Chattanooga, boy, had a dollar and a dime. I hit it out from Nashville on the hard rock line. I'm working on that old steamboat and learn to rob and steal. When my feet had touched dry land, how happy I did feel. Say